Are you guys considered to be American citizens? Yes, but it wasn't till not that long ago that we worked. And you guys can get an American passport and travel? Yes, I have a passport. Okay. Yeah. They were indigenous to the land, right? They took us out in phases um, and walked us. Walked, walked us to Oklahoma, Tahlequah, Oklahoma. Um, Who did? The U.S. government? Yes, yeah. The military, yeah. Whoa. Yeah. So it's a relocation then. Yeah, complete relocation. They tried to completely uh, wipe out, wipe out the Cherokees. And that's actually why, I don't know that if you know, but we have the Eastern Band, which is what we're referred to here as. Yeah. The Cherokees that were able to stay and hide out, or Cherokees that were removed and came back. Yeah. And we also have Western Band that mm -hmm. was removed and decided to stay in Oklahoma. Oh. And so... You know, we're a nation divided. Yeah, yeah. And, it, and it's, there's still some, I don't know if it's animosity, but it's, there's a weird relationship. We're still trying to rebuild. Remember to always like, share, and subscribe. You know, so we're rolling with Sheila. She's a native, born and raised in Cherokee, in North Carolina. So I noticed like there is um, a mixture of um, people in, so this will be considered like uh, the Indian, American Indian Reservation, right? Yes, um, we're actually not a reservation. Um, okay. By definition, we are, we go by the Kuala Boundary. Kuala Boundary. What Kuala does that, Boundary. Yeah, what does that mean? Um, <clears throat> so the way our history works is that is that we our land was taken by the government mm -hmm. and what a reservation is is when that land is allotted back to those people for them to live on okay so we purchased our land back right. through actually um, a man named William William Holland Thomas okay um, he was a white man and he was very close with the Cherokees he was an attorney he acted as an attorney for the Cherokees right and um, yeah, we, we kind of rallied up all of our money that we were able to get together and uh -huh. we gave it to William and trusted him to buy our land back. Yeah. And so that's why we are considered a boundary as opposed to a reservation. Oh, uh, so, so a, a reservation would be like an independent nation within the United States? How does that work? Are you guys a, a nation? We are. And okay. we, we, we kind of play around. I know there's, it's kind of hard to say that anybody's truly and really sovereign. Yeah, But right. we are a sovereign nation. Okay, I get what you're saying. Okay, yes. cool, cool, cool. Yeah, but I noticed like there is a mixture of people within this area, though. Yeah. So we have. I see white people. I see black people. Do they live here? Yeah, some and, of them do. Are they allowed to actually purchase homes or? Yeah, it's it's probably a little harder. Like myself as a Cherokee, it's it's yeah. hard to get a home here. Um, you know, a lot of homes are passed down and kept in families. Oh, okay. And so, the same with land. Yeah. And so, um, you kind of just got to get lucky. But oh. yeah, um, and the casino also brings a lot of people from all over. Right, right. So if I want to purchase a house in, um, in this area, am I able to do so? Am I allowed to? I believe so. As, if you could acquire the land, as, as far as I know. Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, I believe so. Because I know like in certain, like um, you said it's not a reservation. Like in certain tribes, right, you may be able to purchase the home, but you're not able to own the land. The land can will be leased to you. So I'm not sure how that works. Correct. Because yeah. um, yeah. it's like a, a tribal, question. it's like a tribal land. You know, yeah. and they don't like selling tribal <laughs> land. They'll lease you the land and you can actually put a house on the land, but it still belongs to the tribe. Like the casino, do they like pass some of the rev revenue on to like the residents? Yes, in a sense. Um, so that's kind of what you were just talking about with the leasing of the land. Yeah. That's kind of what they do here oh. on our boundary. They use our land, but it's a, um, it's a Caesars. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. A Caesar's property. Oh, and so okay. that they make a percentage and then we make a percentage. Okay. So do they I was reading like like the little kids, right? They get like a percentage in a specific bank account mm -hmm. each year and when they get to like 18 they can sp they they have access to some. Correct. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Is this considered like the richest um, American Indian tribe in America? 
No, actually, um, the Seminoles I know do very well. They own the, you know, the Seminole cafes, uh, mm -hmm. the Hard Rock cafes. Um, yeah. No, Mikasukis are up there. No, not by any means. I, I think we're, I think we're we're very very. Close. Um, I don't know about close, but we're. We're blessed. Blessed. We're okay. very blessed. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. I think um, I was like watching this guy. His name is Peter Santanello. Okay. He did like a video up here, right? And the guy who he was um, interviewing said that his his daughter, when she got to like the age of um, 21, she would have like $500,000 in her bank account. You know? Honestly, um, and that just kind of depends. It it all depends on how well the casino does. Right. You know, um, mm -hmm. really twice a year. So yeah, it's possible, and that money kind of our our finance team um, invests invests mm -hmm. as well. And so how well those investments do with that money? Yeah, is also. You know. But at least all native, they do get something, you know, which 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 is what I like, you know. It's um, like in certain like countries, um, if they have like oil or natural resources, you don't see like the trickle down effect going towards the citizens, yeah. you know, which is one of the great points um, in this area. The citizens do benefit, you know, yes. and the roads. I mean, the, the roads are pretty. In good shape, you know. They are fairly. They're they're well maintained. Yeah, they're, com compared to like places like Michigan. <laughs> they, yeah. They always go, look at this. So this is where wow. I'm taking you. This is Gadua Mound, and we call this the mother town of the Cherokees. Uh, so I'll tell you a little about a bit about that. In a second. Uh, okay. Um. So we kept mounds. We had several mounds. Um. Here, just in Western North Carolina, you can still find a lot of them. Um, so the reason that mounds are so significant to us is because I'll pull you over here so you can kind of look at it. Um, mm -hmm. Because this was where people gathered when it was time to meet. Yeah. Um, everyone, you know, within I'm not sure. You know, I'm sure there were bigger, bigger towns and smaller towns, but from mm -hmm. people from that township came. What's your name? Amaius. Amaius? Okay. This is my guy. He's seven. Okay, cool, cool. He's a good boy. Yeah. Um, so everyone in the towns would try, in the individual towns would travel to these mounds to meet. Mm -hmm. um, and there was a big, there would be a big structure on top of this, this mound. Um, okay. it, and the okay. Cherokees really, really um, paid attention to um, astrology. Mm -hmm. And so the way they kind of lined up some of the, the structures, Mm -hmm. Just from the um, the remains we found um, yeah. through ar archaeology. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's a great point. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we've kind of rebuilt these just mm -hmm. to kind of see, you know, like what step back in time, and um, they would line up some of the mound doorways with the sun mm. as it was rising. Yeah. Right in the pit, maybe like in the crevice of two mountains, and it would just shine through right. the first day of the summer solstice. And the winter solstice was also significant. Um, just incredible, just incredible things. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so so these places are sacred to us, and um, yeah. there's a lot of good energy. I come here and I get goosebumps, honestly. And um, that, yeah, and that's like yesterday. You mentioned energy, right? Yesterday I was like. Um, documenting the drumming competition mm -hmm. and it just uh, <laughs> there's something that just came over me because the they were like chanting yeah, you know right and it you was, just like feel the yeah yeah that, yeah, that drum in yeah, your soul yeah it was amazing I travel from like state to state right and like back in those days when you had like the war and fighting over land I'm like to myself how the hell did these people walk so many miles yeah. <laughs> you know no yeah. cars just horses and just walking Insane. Yeah. you know yeah so you guys are actually native right mm -hmm. to this area mm -hmm. sure. going back to many many generations um i was a part of a a group funny that you say walking um we have a a group of bike riders that go out every year mm -hmm. to Oklahoma and they retrace the Trail of Tears 
and kind of oh. pay homage to the ancestors. It's a little shy of a thousand miles. Yeah. Um, about a two week trip. Um, mm -hmm. Short of, uh, two, what is it? Is short, it? a little short of two, around two weeks. It takes them about two weeks to bike from New Wachota, Georgia, the start of the trail to Oklahoma, Tahlequah, Oklahoma. You said it's called what, the Shut Up What? Tears? The, the Trail of Tears. Okay, so they were in the, I keep on saying this word wrong. In the indigenous. <laughs> yeah. Indigenous to the land, right? And I guess the British or the Americans remove or attempted to remove? Yes. Um, there were, I believe, three, three or four different routes mm -hmm. um, to Oklahoma, just, you know, um, trying to prepare for crossing rivers and things like that. They, you know, they ha had to move us because we were huge. We were huge into uh -huh. Tennessee, South Carolina, yeah. North Carolina, you know, just, ten it's just huge. So yeah. they took us out in phases um, and walked us, walked, walked us to Oklahoma, Tahlequah, Oklahoma. Um, Who did? The U.S. government? Yes. Yeah. The military. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. So it's a relocation then? Yeah. Complete relocation. They tried to completely um, wipe out, wipe out the Cherokees. And that's actually why, I don't know that if you know, but we have an Eastern band, which is what we're referred to here as yeah. the Cherokees that were able to stay and hide out or Cherokees that were removed and came back. Yeah. And we also have Western band that mm -hmm. was removed and s decided to stay in Oklahoma. Oh. And so, you know, we're a nation divided. Yeah, and, yeah. And it's, there's still some, I don't know if it's animosity, but it's, there's a weird relationship we're still trying to rebuild. So our communities, we have uh, Birdtown, we have Yellow Hill, Big Cove, Wolf Town. Yeah. Big Y. We have Robbinsville. Okay. Snowbird. I hope I'm not leaving any out. No worries. Um, but the communities are important. Um, we meet, each community meets once a month uh, for our community club meeting. Um, yeah. Just for those that want to come. Uh huh. And. Um, we kind of separate ourselves that way also to play stickball. Okay. Yeah, you heard of stickball? Yeah, I've seen, I've seen the, the, the stick in the museum. Yes. And you're selling that thing for a thousand dollars. Yes. I'm like, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> you know? That's insane. That is, is it beaded or is it just the stick itself? It's, it's a stick with the thing on the top to throw the... And that's it? Yeah. Oh, wow. I believe okay, it's two so, sticks. I believe it's two. Yeah, wow. $1,000. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah. But yeah, they, they don't play about um, crafts here. That's... Right. right yeah. Right. People people do some crazy stuff. If you ever get to see our baskets, oh. Uh, oh, just is, the work that goes into those, it's insane. Yeah, I'm sure it, took, it takes hours to make those stuff, so the yeah. pricing is... Yes, many, many hours. It's, so do you speak the local language? I do. I actually was a language teacher. Wow. Yeah. Oh yeah. Nice. I was a Cherokee language teacher um, for five years before I started the job I'm in now. Oh. Yep. So I do speak some. Um, it's a dying language. We have less than I think 150 speakers at this point, fluent speakers, yeah. first language speakers. Um, so we're, we're doing a lot to try to revitalize that and it's it's a battle. Do you teach your son? Yeah, um, my son actually goes to um, the academy that I used to teach at, uh, yeah. Nougadoo Academy, shout out to them. Yeah. Uh, they are a Cherokee immersion school and they they begin with uh, daycare, so around a year old, mm -hmm. and they go up to sixth grade currently. Oh, okay, okay. And they fully immerse them in Cherokee as, as much as they're able with the resources that they have. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Yeah, it's important to keep the culture alive, you know? Yes, 100%. Yeah. 100%. And you find in like this uh, rapidly changing place, environment, you know, as, as um, the kids get older, the smartphones take over, the TikTok, oh, you yeah. know? Oh, <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> the 
move further and further away from the culture. So it's, uh, I'm glad to see that there are some young people though that utilize you know social media too. Yeah. As a platform to you know help others learn. Uh -huh. Because we have a we've got a group here. They're the adult language learners, and they go through a two-year program of um, shadowing these fluent speakers, uh -huh. and they come out with so much knowledge. It's just. It's insane. It's okay. it's really insane. But I, I love it. I love it. I love what we're trying to do to keep things alive. Right, right, right. right. That's cool. That's cool. So you guys get a lot of visitors like in the summertime? I would say so, yeah. People are out, kids are out. Um, we're about to do some work on a there's a splash pad downtown. We'll drive by that uh, for kids, and that's kind of a nice little area. You know, the rivers and things here. We can drive probably by the dispensary. Um, have you heard about that? Okay. What's going on there? Yeah, we can we can look at some weed. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's really cool. Uh, we just July Fourth, we we opened recreational um, to tribal members only. So anyone from here, anyone from any other federally recognized tribe, yeah. it's going to show your card, and you're able to come in and purchase. Um, I'm really excited about it. Uh, I think cannabis is a really, it's a, got a lot of potential, the industry itself, um, right. and if we can kind of be ahead of the curve and get things rolling before North Carolina, mm -hmm. you know, we, we've already got the advantage, so. So we're driving through Birdtown right now, <coughs> we're about to come out into town, uh, yeah, and you guys will get to have a look at that. Right, right, right. I work with um, a non-profit lending institution and we do a lot of business lending okay um, and also lending for tribal citizens and okay. so we, we have a lot of um, kind of overlap with our commerce department here mm -hmm. um, and so we work very closely with the businesses and you know trying to bring tourism in and things like that um, right. So, so, so at the casino, right? Um, do they hire like locals, like people born and raised in this area? They do. It's like a part of like the deal where you have to hire like thirty percent of the local population. Or I've never heard that, but okay. there are a lot of people that kind of flock to there anyways because you can make a lot of money. Right. Yeah. Right, 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 right. And so some people kind of make a career out of it. Um, I know one girl that's got a master's. She has two master's degrees, and she is a server. She'd be like, to hell with this. She, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, it, I, I don't think they have a problem with with that by any means. She's, um, she's fine. Because I have two degrees. I have a bachelor's and a master's. Okay. Right? And it, if you're like a critical thinker, you have to like go where the money is, you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> if the degree is not paying you what you want, you just go somewhere else. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Some of the richest people in the world don't have a degree. That's you know. the truth. Alright, so we're coming into downtown right now. Yeah. And I may loop, yeah, I kind of, I would like for you to see the island, but we can pop back here now. Okay. Yeah. So this is our downtown. Um, mm -hmm. The kind of splash pad I was talking about is right over that way, and it's. Uh, yeah, they had like live music up here yesterday. Really? Yeah. Yeah, they they've been trying to work a couple things out, see what they what's working, what's not working. Um, but they're about to redo that kind of splash pattern right there. And I'm really excited for that because I think the kids need it. My goodness. So this is the casino right here. This is our casino. Ever growing, it feels like. Uh, yeah. It's amazing. The casinos always win though. <laughs> you know? I know that's right. I'm telling you. It's always packed. Yeah. It's always packed. Always packed, right? <laughs> there were a lot of people here this weekend. Um, I was glad to see it for, I guess, 4th of July. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people. It's most people I've seen mm -hmm. in a while. Yeah. So that was kind of nice. Yeah. yeah the powwow mm -hmm. was pretty full. Today it got rained out, though. Mm, I wondered. I drove by there about four. It's, it's huge. It goes on. Is this? Yep. Oh. So this is a, right here, this building is the casino with the, the games, mm -hmm. table games, slot machines. This is a hotel. 
and oh. the big building we just saw back there is our convention center. That's our newest addition. Oh, I like the color too. They keep it like you know, mm -hmm. earth earth tone. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. It's a beautiful, beautiful um, property. Actually, go in and actually and purchase weed. Why any yes. any medicinal. Do you need a card? If you are not native, yes. Or if you're not native. And okay. if you are native, anyone that is federally part of a federally federally recognized tribe is able to come. Can purchase. Yep. Mm -hmm. okay, cool. Yep. So it's not fully recreational. Recreational for the. For our visitors and guests, no. no but I think the reason that that is is they're trying kind of not to overwhelm, overwhelm um, our dispensary folks. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Get away. So it's like supply. easing, easing. Yes. As you grow, you know, then you start doing more recreational stuff. Yes. Well, let's right. play the. Can we play the yes and no game? Not right now, my man. Not right now. So this is some tribal housing right here. Right over here. Oh, yep, these are new. Cool. Yeah, they're very nice on the inside. I have a couple friends that live over here. So would this be free or? No, um, these ones, I'm not sure how much they run, but I want to say they're two. Can you can you drive months. can you drive through there? Yeah, would you like to? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's one of our newer. So 
So you would say what it's like, what you would say, subsidized housing or somewhere, something along that line? It, I wouldn't say that is, but we do have programs that are. We do have apartments that are um, income based. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's still, you know, a bit of a waiting list. Housing here is. Can you zoom like that? But I'm just still amazed, though, you know, how you guys take care of your own. Yeah, you don't really see homeless people here. Yeah. You know? You really don't. It's <laughs> yeah. and it's it's kinda wild. I think that, that may be kind of kind of fizzling out just with the drug use that we have here. Because um, we do have a lot of drug use. Um but we do we, we, we do have some We yeah. have some. But yeah. not not compared to like Kensington and those places. Yeah, you're probably right. Because because I'm walking downtown and I haven't seen anyone high in drugs mm -hmm. oh, downtown. Right. I totally missed it. Oh so gosh. I would say you guys have like functional users. Then put it that way, people who use and able to like still function somewhat. In a sense, in a sense, I think there's a lot of generational trauma. Okay. Um, Whoa. Oh, generational trauma. Oh, got what you're saying. Yeah, um, and that's where that that kind of comes from. What, what are we doing? Yeah. We're gonna pull through um, these houses real quick. Okay. And the color theme too is still new. So that's the name of this uh, complex? Yes. Uh, keep my video, my camera down. This is like a Benz? Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You don't know that much too. Oh, but you said the waiting list is crazy, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's a lot. I'm currently going through that right now myself. Cool, cool. Yeah. Cool. So this is like a housing complex that the local government provided it to its residents. You see how nice this is? Yeah, it's amazing. Like, take care of your own, you know? Amazing stuff. I like that. Kudos to you, Cherokee tribe. <laughs> we have been very fortunate. And I think too, what uh, bonds you guys together, right? Even though, like, it's not perfect, right? But because of your history, what you have been through, you know. like the police department is it just be the local um, Cherokee Indians or anyone from outside anyone from outside can be put into our jail right um but as far as like the officers do have they have to be local native no no, no. oh no. okay yeah um and a lot of our tribal jobs as well, if you are married mm -hmm. to an enrolled member, yeah. you have more preference and than someone that isn't okay. or isn't native. Okay. Yeah. So Can I get a bomb mom? Like you said, we kinda of try to take Can care I get of each a other. Mom in the truck? Mm -hmm. No, not right now. And you guys have a local no, chair, I'm right? Sit down. Sit down. Relax. Leave it. Just leave uh, it, please. Are you in your seatbelt? Yeah, you need to be turned around. Yeah, I put, am. Oh, you're on your seatbelt. Okay, cool. Yeah, so, um, did you say a gym? Your jail, a local gym. Jail, yes. Um, we passed by. You couldn't really see it from where we were. Yeah, but if you'd like to go, it's a newer facility. No, that's also. right. Yeah, that's right. So, there's a local jail, not a prison, right? No prison. No, no prison. Yeah, got to be shipped out for that. I hope it oh. So if someone come here, right, and commit like a serious crime, like, 
do you guys have like a local tribal um, judge or court system? We do. Mm. Yeah, we do. Oh. Things kind of get complicated when it comes to um, enrolled members pressing charges on non-enrolled members. Yeah. On tribal land, things get a little bit fuzzy, and it's actually <laughs> pretty tough him if him you ask me. Um, but. But yeah. So pretty much they can come here and get away with stuff. Then. I've known people that, so for example, um, I know someone that owns a shop here mm -hmm. and their neighbor is not enrolled and also, you know, owns their shop yeah. and the owner of the non-enrolled assaulted physically the enrolled member oh. and there was nothing that kind of could be done, done about it. Oh, you couldn't press your own. Yeah. yeah, so it's it's a little dicey in that mm. aspect. Yeah, because it's like, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. There's no like laws between where you can like ship him out to get tried like in the U.S. justice system, you know? Yeah, and I think because really if we don't do it, then the feds have to pick it up. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You so know what you can I mean? Turn him over to the feds. And so, a lot of times, the cases will fall through the cracks because the feds just don't want to pick it up. And oh we, yeah. You know, it's not big enough or yeah, important enough yeah, for them to yeah to step in. And so, that's a flaw within our system. Um, yeah, there's no state like North Carolina. You can't turn him over to North Carolina. It have to be to with the feds. Yes. Okay. Yeah. But. Don't come here and commit any crimes, okay? <laughs> Please. Please. <laughs> yeah. Well, let me go to church. Big Wow, wow. He's taking pictures of him. The attraction brings in a lot of people. It was covered in people over the weekend for 4th of July. Mm -hmm. And so... Show Island. Yeah, we can do the island and just call it a day, okay? Okay. You want to go swimming tonight? So silly. <laughs> we actually just got this ABC store as well. We were, um... Oh, trying an ABC store. Okay. Let's go right here. That's hard liquor. <laughs> yeah, we were, we were dry for many, many years. But if for some reason the casino was allowed to sell liquor, though. Oh. It was the craziest thing. We had a weird ordinance or something kind of like that. Oh. Uh, well, you were still able to, like, purchase, like, beer and wine and... Like we didn't sell it here. No, no, no alcohol? No. Tomas, please be careful. You're by the road. Yeah, no alcohol at all except for the casino. Wow. Yeah. So that, that's new. So if you needed to drink, you'd have to pay extra at the casino, right? Yep. A lot of people go to the town over. Oh, okay. So this is the island. I see a lot of people um, rafting. Yes. Tubing. Yeah, oh, tubing. Yeah. 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 Okay. And they decorate this real nice for Christmas. They do a bunch of lights. There's a whole it's an experience, honestly. Yeah. Uh, that you can walk through. It's beautiful. And Thank Halloween. You. Yeah. So um, they do a good job with that. And I think this is. Wow, yeah, this is, this is well built. Yeah. Which is pretty nice. You can swim, some people fish. We do a, a fishing derby every year. And it's huge. This island is swamped with people. Oh. And it's, it's a children's derby. So all these kids get registered and they get all these cool gifts. And yeah. it's just something really, really cool that people come from all over to participate in. Okay. Very peaceful. So it's always this quiet on a Sunday, pretty much. I think the rain kind of washed everything yeah, out, yeah, honestly. Yeah. Cause I'm telling you, it was jumping this weekend. It was yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah. So you guys live close by? We do. Yep. Okay. Uh, I'm about 
five minutes down the road. Oh, okay. There's a bamboo forest over there. That's pretty cool. Like yeah, we can maybe go now. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So the the water is coming from all the way up in the mountain, right? I believe this yeah. this yeah That's this pretty, yeah. this river runs all the way all the way up. Can I take the dog? Why do you want to put the stranger dog? You're probably going to ask. <laughs> I mean, the dog has a time. You're not afraid that the dog bites you? Uh, no. No? <laughs> brave guy. Yeah. Very brave guy. So yeah, that's pretty much it. People come out, cook out, a lot of birthday parties. We've had a party here before. Kind of yeah. just first come, first serve with the pavilions. Oh, okay. Okay. So. Cool. All right, we don't have to walk all the way. Yeah, we're good, dude. Turn it around. It's an elementary, a middle, and a high school. Mm -hmm. And just kind of like the apartments that you saw, you know, the architecture, the yeah, the kind of basket design and the walls and yeah. things like that. Yeah, yeah. They really did a good job on it. It's a beautiful facility. I had a question, right? Mm -hmm. Are you guys considered to be American citizens? Yes, but it wasn't till not that long ago that we weren't. How, how long? What year? You wouldn't have asked me. I could have told you. No, it's, I can do some research on that. Yeah. Um, okay. We said yeah, like 1900s or I way before the 1900s? No, it was, I want to say in the 1900s. 1900s? Yeah. Oh. I'm fairly certain. And you guys, not very long ago. And you guys can get an American passport and travel? Yes. I have a passport. Okay, yep. okay. Mm -hmm. cool, cool, cool. Yep. But, um, so remember I was telling you about the... I wanted to pet her dog. The enrollment cards that we have. Mm-hmm. Um, that's a federal ID. I can show you mine, actually. Okay. Am I a state no, you outside? don't have to. You don't have to. Um, but it's a, you know, an ID card. Yeah. You bring your license and things like that to, to get it. And your social security card. Um, uh -huh. and... Come here. Come, 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 come. Stay, stay. But so, a lot of places won't take it as a valid form of ID. Even places here. It's wild. Oh. Yeah. So you have to have a license. What kind of license do you have? You have a North Carolina license? I have a North Carolina license. Yep. Oh, just like I do, like yep. all residents. Oh, okay, okay, mm -hmm. cool. Yeah, I wasn't really sure, you know, if um, like how you guys would travel That's if question. you want to leave the country, you know. Yeah. Can you watch your suit to that one? I'm gonna try. Can you watch your YouTube video? Yeah, if you can. Yeah, just right here. That's what my folks love. <laughs> <laughs> This is where you go if you commit crimes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so my yeah. Commit crimes. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. What are you going to do? Show them all the jail? Yeah, just pull them in here and let them see. Mm -hmm. Just as soon. Whatever kind of fort. Oh, no, but what happens, like? what happens if you, like, It's a public okay. building. Yeah, I think we're gonna be so alright. Like, like if if someone came up said, "Why you here?" and then they take you to jail, what happens? No, they can't take you to jail. All right, so this is our jail. Can we go inside? Okay. No. Okay. So we have. Oh, okay. That's a fancy jail, though. This is. It's newer. This is. Yeah. Newer, so. So you always say it's a jail or a poli police department and jail in one? Yeah, pretty much a police department and jail in one. Yeah. Those are the calls that are at first. You know, you, you've got your, um, like your clerk corps and things mm -hmm. like that, your courtroom 
things and things in there. So. Right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you're a criminal, you would love to be in that <laughs> jail. <laughs> That's like a five-star accommodation <laughs> right there. The outside, the outside. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure inside is nice too. I have actually never been. I'm no, no yeah, don't go in. <laughs> <laughs> don't go in. Some jail clothes that I look at, some jail clothes that I look at, um, sometimes they get, they say, uh, uh, they say I suffer. They're supposed to, I mean, they're supposed to say, um, um, <laughs> Um, officer. 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 Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. 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 Y